Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty large Sassy Girl Aroma haul. This is a combination of two pre-orders. So the one that just shipped, I think that ended like mid-November, November 12th maybe. And then I had just two brittles from her October pre-order that I'm going to throw in here as well. Um, I didn't share those at that time because it was only two brittles and also I didn't get one of them until this pre-order shipped because she was out of the oil. So just thought it'd be good just to throw these together. Sassy Girl Aroma is probably one of, if not my favorite vendors, because her blends are just so good. They're so unique, they're consistent, they throw really well. And ever since she started doing this like brittle shape, I really like this because I think they store so well. Got a Sharpie here and I'm going to label these for the date as I go. Uh, most of everything is brittles, but I have one loaf and one, what are these called? Chunky muffins, I think. Um, so the loaf I got was Christmas at Santa's and this was totally based on Charity's recommendation. So this is Pepperberry Wreath, Sugar Cookies, and Marshmallow Fireside. So just from watching her over the last month or so, I decided that this is one that I have to give a try. I will say, um, before I talk about the scent, from vendors in general, this really bothers me about vendor wax. Like this scent, Christmas at Santa's, I'm so glad I have it. But today's the day I'm filming this. It's December 21st. By the time I let this cure, what everything, Christmas is going to be over. Like, I really wish more vendors did, like, the, the seasonal pre-orders, like, the season before. So, I wish that I got this scent in, like, October. Because then I would have had plenty of time to let it cure. And then during Christmas time, it would have been ready to go. That's one of the reasons that, I mean, I've purchased a lot of wax recently. That's, that's no lie, but like all of these vendors that are having like Christmassy and super wintry restocks, I'm not interested in those. Like I have enough winter wax. I have Christmas wax. I want to start seeing some like spring releases, um, so that I can do the pre-order that's, you know, six to eight week turnaround time and then have a month of cure time before it would be time for me to melt it. You know what I mean? Like, like this, I feel like it's just going to sit in my collection until next Christmas for the most part. You know, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else feels like that with pre-orders and vendor wax, but sometimes I do. And, um, it's kind of frustrating like vanilla snowflake. I really want some vanilla snowflake and I do have some coming on the way. But, um, there are a couple of vendors that have vanilla snowflakes pre-orders right now. And I'm not really interested in purchasing from it because by the time I would get it and let it cure, it would be past the winter time, you know? So I don't know, like that's just something that random that kind of bothers me about vendor wax sometimes. But anyway, Christmas at Santa's, pepperberry wreath, sugar cookies, and marshmallow fireside. And this is really nice. I almost could see this as like a fall scent too, especially because of the marshmallow fireside. You get the marshmallow fireside and this pepperberry wreath is just like a, kind of like a spicy, some, just some spices. So I could totally see this being a fall blend too, just like a spicy marshmallow fireside. That's kind of the vibe that I get from this one. So Christmas at Santa's loaf. And then I have one of these chunky muffins. And this is an All Hallows Eve. So this is a warm autumnal blend of damp woods, pumpkin flesh, clove, nutmeg, patchouli, and apples. And this one is super unique. This is not for everybody. I will say that right now. And smelling it, I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. Like it's one of those scents. Um, I think I really do like this though. It is so unique and it is so like fall just smoky incense -y, like dirty-esque kind of it makes me think of like outside you can get you get that like pumpkin flesh 
which is really an interesting scent because I feel like, you know, a lot of times with pumpkin, you know, you're not getting like that raw pumpkin note. You get the pumpkin spice, the pumpkin pie, whatever. I get like raw pumpkin in this. And then I get whether it's like the patchouli or this like damp woods note. This is really, really unique. And like I said, I don't know if it's a love or a hate, but I think it's leaning towards a love. So I'm glad I picked this up. Um, I definitely will not warm this until next fall just because it's totally that type of scent. Um, but hopefully she brings this back again and I might have to melt like a, a piece or two of it if she does just to see if I need more of it because this is like a perfect October, November scent where it's like really dark and damp outside. Oh, it's just, this is so unique. If you got this, let me know what you think about this. So those are my only things other like that weren't brittles. <clears throat> so let's get moving on the brittles. I have pistachio custard cookies. This is vanilla custard, toasted pistachio, honey, almonds, and fresh baked sugar cookies. I really enjoy pistachio scents, but I find that a lot of them don't throw super well for me. And so I wanted to give this brittle a try. This is so good on cold. So hopefully it throws well, um, but it really is just like a creamy pistachio. The pistachio is definitely the first and foremost, but you get that like vanilla custard that they're talking about and it just adds this really nice creaminess to it. This is really good. I hope this throws well because um, I think if it does, it will be a staple for me um, because like I said, I like pistachio and I just, I'm not, I don't find them all that often. So pistachio custard cookies. I wonder if I put this this way and you can guys can see the colors start to stack. Okay, this one is from the October pre-order. This one was Radiant Leaves. So this is a Radiant Red Maple dupe from Bath & Body Works. Crisp red Macintosh apple, smoky notes, sweet maple, warm caramel, and an aromatic woody note. I picked this up because Radiant Red Maple is one of those candles that um, it was only out for one season. Everybody raved about it and I missed it. I never got to try it. And I've seen different radiant, radiant red maple dupes things and vendor wax, you know, for years, but I had just never picked one up. And so I wanted to get this to give it a try. And this is so not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. Like maybe like a caramel apple with like a woody note to it. But this is like a very interesting um this is definitely a dupe for Scentsy's apple s'mores it's the same scent so if you guys have ever tried apple s'mores from Scentsy to me this is extremely similar I don't think this is my favorite it's a little too weird <laughs> like the apple the like the woods I don't know it just it has a kind of strange note to it I definitely will melt this and enjoy it and use it but this is not this is not my favorite if you like ready at red, ma red maple though that's that's the dupe for you okay good night lover this is blue sugar sweet lavender birthday cotton candy frosting it sounded totally up my alley I love blue sugar I like lavender quite a bit and then, of course, like the birthday and the cotton candy frosting. And this is like just like a nice kind of subtle blue sugar scent. I should be showing you guys these brittle, shouldn't I? They're so beautiful. This one's kind of light on cold, but I definitely get the blue sugar. Maybe like a creaminess that I guess could be the cotton candy frosting or the birthday. Yeah, that's nice. Actually, I doubt I'm going to take all these brittles out because it's just it's going to get kind of messy. But that one is Good Night Lover. Next is Lavender Cookies. Lavender, Vanilla, Marshmallow, and Sugar Cookies. I thought, you know, this would just be a great bedroom blend, but also just like bedtime blend as well. And this is nice. This is kind of light on cold as well. You definitely get like the sugar cookies, like the marshmallow, the vanilla really stand out more than the lavender. 
which is interesting to me because lavender is one of those scents that, you know, just like stand out over, over anything. It's, it's strong, but this one is good. I wouldn't say it's a favorite, but that's enjoyable. Okay. This next one is the other one from the October pre-order. And this is the bar that are the brittle that I did not get. Are these called brittles or breakaway bars? Brittles. Every company is so different. I get confused. Brittles. Um, she did not have the oil in time, and so she sent it with um, the November pre-order. So this is Oath. And this is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. So this is like beach nights and like pine cone. You guys, this is such a winner. Oh my gosh. You get the beach nights, and then you get that like smoky pine cone note. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Such a nice like beachy outdoorsy scent. It kind of reminds me of like a beach bonfire. Her beach nights is really, really good and the pine cone note just really adds a lot to it. I think this would be a great kind of all year scent in the summer. It could be like a smoky bonfire like on the beach, but also like during the winter, it could be like just like a winter version of beach nights with that pine cone. This is exceptional. I definitely would purchase a lot more of this when she offers it in the future because that is so, so good. Next is Marie. This is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, vanilla, whipped cream, marshmallow meringue, sandalwood, and white magnolia. So I think based on those scent notes, this is beach nights mixed with boardwalk marshmallow clouds from Bath and Body Works. Or at least something very similar to that. And that's what it smells like to me. I definitely get like a boardwalk marshmallow cloud type note. This is more like perfumey body care-esque to me. I don't know if I like boardwalk marshmallow clouds and wax too much. I figured out because it does just, it's a body care scent to me. Um, it's not really a wax scent. So this is nice, but this, I wouldn't say this is a favorite. Um, but if you like boardwalk marshmallow clouds and beach nights, that would be a, a good one to try. Harry Potter. I see everybody raving about this one on her Facebook group. This is tea and cakes, blackberry, butter, jam, blackberry, butter, and jam cookies, vanilla, sugar, waffle cone. So I love tea and cakes. I love blackberry. I love, you know, vanilla and sugar and stuff. So to try this. And I mainly just get like the tea and cakes and the blackberry from this. Um, and I'm not complaining about that. It's so good. But I really love tea and cakes. I like blackberry a lot. I don't think this is anything super special per se. Like I think this blend is not super unique, but I do enjoy this a lot. So that's Harry Potter or Harry Asterisk, you know, Potter. Going to Disneyland or used to be known as Disneyland. I was really excited about this one because I used to have Disneyland years ago and I haven't had it in a really long time. This is cotton candy, strawberry, pineapple, creamsicle, lemonade, and whipped cream. Oh, and this is so good. You get the pineapple, you get the... Um, like the creamsicle, such a beautiful fruity summertime scent. This is outstanding. This is loaf worthy in my opinion. Oh, such a nice scent. And this is one of those scents for me that makes me really just appreciate and just realize how great Sassy Girl Aromas blends are. Cause for me, like strawberry, pineapple, like the creamsicle, sometimes scents like that, especially together, if they're like super, super fruity. At times they can come off like BO to me. I don't know what it is about my nose, but I can smell like authentic pineapple in this. Like it just, it just smells so real. And I really appreciate that. A few more left. <laughs> Next is tea with the dames. This is tea and cakes, blackberry jam, butter cookies, cotton candy, and sweet lavender. Again, I love tea and cakes. So I should be set with this order alone. I have like enough tea and cakes and enough like blackberry jam butter cookies I think to last me <laughs> quite a while. 
And this is good. I get mainly the tea and cakes. And I definitely get like a cotton candy note in this that I haven't gotten in some of the other brittles. I don't know if I get lavender, um, but it's a sweet lavender. So it probably just blends in with that cotton candy really well. This is just like a sweet tea and cakes. This is nice. I don't know if this is like an essential, a staple for me, but everything, you know, after you melt it sometimes is different. Okay, Wild at Tiffany's. This is Wild Berry Mousse, Cotton Candy, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I love Cupcakes at Tiffany's, so most of the time if a blend with Cupcakes at Tiffany's is offered, I usually pick it up. And I was interested in this Wild Berry Mousse. I wasn't so sure what that would be like. And this is interesting. I don't know if I love this one. This Cupcakes at Tiffany smells a little bit different than I've smelled it in the past. This seems like it has more toffee in it. Um, I don't know. It smells slightly different. And I don't really get any berries from this. It's just kind of like a heavy chocolate scent to me. Which is fine. It's just not quite what I expected. So this might be one, you know, as I warm, it will kind of change. And maybe that wild berry mousse will come out. Um... Or maybe the note I'm getting is like a creaminess of the mousse that I'm just not sure what it is. But not my favorite. It's okay though. And I will um, definitely see how that is warming. Next is my first love. This is strawberry pound cake and birthday cake. I kind of took a chance on this for the strawberry. Like I've mentioned this before. I'm not a big strawberry fan and uh, much vendor wax. Um, but I thought the strawberry pound cake would probably be a different oil. So I wanted to see how that was. And I like this. This doesn't smell like that really off-putting strawberry that I get in a lot of other like vendor wax, at least to my nose. I mainly get the like birthday cake in this, maybe like a hint of strawberry, but it's definitely mainly like birthday bakery. So this is good. I'm glad that I picked this one up. That was my first love. Next is Fanny Hawthorne. This is Fruit Loops, Seven Up Pound Cake Noel Cotton Candy Frosting. Again, this is loaf worthy. This is such a good one. Oh, you definitely get the Fruit Loops. You get that like Seven Up fizzy scent. Also, can we talk about this brittle? I, I'm so curious about how she does this because these are all so pretty. This is so good. This smells just kind of like Fruit Loops, maybe like the sweetness of the cotton candy and 7-Up, like a fizzy Fruit Loops scent. Oh, this is so good. The spring and summer, this is going to be exceptional. Oh, love this one. So that's Fanny Hawthorne. Brittle in the last of this haul. This is Sunset on the Beach, which is blackberry jam, butter cookies, vanilla waffle cone, beach night, and marshmallow. Mm, this is really nice. I definitely get the beach nice first and foremost. Maybe some marshmallow. Honestly, I don't really get any blackberry. Maybe a, a slight hint of it, but the beach nights is definitely like the outstanding scent in this blend to me. Which I mean, I'm not complaining about. I like beach nights. <laughs> but uh, that was sunset on the beach. But that is everything. That is my Sassy Girl Aroma last like two pre-orders. And then I did place a order from her December 3rd pre-order. So I will have that here as well in the new year. But that's everything I have to share with you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.